Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech. We specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a water source heat pump. Thank you to everyone tuning to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for an Omega water source heat pump. These are not the hybrid units, it's actually a completely different building where it's an actual water source heat pump. Inside here is the control panel. I see a flashing red light. Let's see what that's about. All right, here's our control board. Take off the light. There we go, you see that red light? Underneath it, it says COS. Let's go ahead and take off this face plate. All right, underneath this unit is actually drain. Oh, all right. Definitely got a little something here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn the power off. COS is the condensate overflow switch. Here we have a packaged water source heat pump. Okay. Underneath here we have a drain. Let's see if I can see it from here. If you guys see right there, you see that little white switch on the left? It's a float switch. So when that switch goes up, it's sensing that the pan is full of water rightfully so so it looks at at this moment it's doing its job you can see it's lifted up so if the drain gets clogged or there's some kind of obstruction in there what's gonna happen is that float is gonna rise up and it's gonna trigger that COS alarm and it's gonna shut your machine down because in cooling mode this system condensates so if it keeps condensating without that sort of safety control and your drain is clogged you're gonna get water all over your wooden floors and you're gonna say goodbye to your wooden floors. So, I wonder if you guys can see it from the video. Let's see. But this pan is full of water. No, not from there. Come on. Oh, it's cutting my hand already. See that? Pan is full of water. That's a clogged drain. I'm gonna show you how we handle this. Our unit here actually slides out. Just be careful. There are water hoses and electrical connected to it. Okay. I'm gonna disconnect the electrical. So unfortunately you can't get to this drain normally with the machine being in place. So we're actually gonna have to pull this unit out. Okay. Inside here we have some water valves. I'm gonna close them. show you and close the water valves and what I do is mark the hoses left this one right so we know the deal and we're gonna take apart the hoses and actually pull this machine out of the wall Our two water valves are closed and I got these marked left and right we're gonna hold back on this nut and take this off all right, hold back with one wrench and loosen this thing up. Okay, that one's cracked open and we can get the rest by hand. A little bit of water is going to come out. We're going to point that towards the drain. Okay. Right there, let it empty out. Valve was holding. And we're safe to do the next one. Is it holding? All right, it's holding. Okay. Hold back on one and loosen up the nut. There we go. Let's see if we can get this other one by hand now. 
Nope. Since we already have a loose, we don't need to hold back anymore. So let's go ahead and loosen this one up. Uh, we got Daniel and Christian here working on another unit right here. So this one had an issue. We had a low pressure problem. The other one, we have a condensate overload problem. So always wear your shoe covers, always cover the floor. All right, guys, take two people to pull this out. These units are pretty heavy. And if you hold on, stop for a second. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. Let's hold this back. Any remaining water to come out. Because you're going to break your back doing this all day. Two people, let's take it out and bring it down. Okay, good. Whoa, that looks fun. That looks fun. Okay. Ooh. Something's alive in here. Then you got a screw on that bottom right corner. Oh boy, that thing is packed. I'll take a picture of it inside so you'll really see. So when you get that COS error, that means you have an open line between this. See, this is up. That's all it takes. The normal position is closed. That would open it up and shut your machine down. Hey, Christian, mm -hmm. I got a fun job for you, man. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Clearly, there's a lot of water here. And I'll show you guys before and after. We don't want, we want to clear this drain right now but we don't want all that thick stuff to go down. So let's see. I think that would that, that might have freed it itself right there. We have a whirlpool in there. That is nice. So let's let all that go through. The thick water, it's already clear, funny enough. Just remember guys, like they always say, maintenance is a scam. <laughs> All right, let that water go down, and I'm gonna use this paper towels so that thick stuff doesn't go down there. Okay, so let that go. Let that go down. But only the clean water, because you don't want to clog the drain further down this line. You don't want to clog the main pipe. Let that go down. All right, that's great. It's draining real nice. Clog was right at that edge, and you'll see it through the picture. So let that go down. Okay. Gotta take care of your things, guys. Just don't want that thick stuff to go down. So let, let's leave that a little covered. And we're gonna start cleaning this up. Okay. I don't want that thick stuff to go down there. All right, just like that. So it'll be enough for a little bit of stuff to go through and all the thick stuff is gonna have to come out. All right, bon appetit, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Got this one running as well, checking pressures. So this one went off on low pressure. Funny enough, ain't nothing low. If anything, both sides are a little bit higher than normal, but backside is uh, low pressure is kind of up there that's pretty hot in here, it's 81 degrees. And you're, this is a water cooled system, so your head pressure is gonna be based on, you know, the building operations such as the cooling tower and the pumps. And uh, yeah, so they're gonna be evaluating this, but this video we're gonna be focusing on our COS error. Once we're cleaning up all the pan, we're gonna get all that thick stuff out. We're gonna clear the drain a little better. Or we like to use some pressurized nitrogen through there or force some, some heavy water pressure. But as you saw, just cleaning up just the top edge with a flathead screwdriver did it. We're also gonna put a Clorox disinfecting cleaner with bleach. It's gonna kill some bacteria in there because like Daniel said, there's a whole ecosystem inside that pan. As far as this other unit, definitely got no low pressure. Back pressure is coming down because the space temperature is coming down, but that head pressure is slightly climbing and climbing and climbing. You might want 
to take a look at their cooling tower to see what's going on over there. The water valve is definitely open. There's no strainer in this unit. There is a pressure regulator, but there is no strainer. But we do have a good TD. What temperature you got coming out of there? Uh, 63.3. 63 and it's 80 in here. You got a 17 degree TD. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty good actually. Let's see a quick look at the BMS. Well, Christian cleans that up. Cooling tower is running. 79.3 and 83.8. 83.8, pretty normal. I think it's pretty normal. It's honestly it's uh, pretty cool to see. So we got the cooling towers here. We got all the pumps online here. See what's going on. Make sure everything's okay. And we've got the other cooling tower running. Tower is not being used as much. Got those pumps. Got the makeup air system. Alright. Generator room. Oh, this is cool to see. Lobby unit. Yeah, machine's running. What is it? Space Time 72. Yep, it's pretty cool to see. Got the boilers on here and all that. All right. Just a visual look. He's curious. He wants to get a look up there. So that's the cooling tower. So those two water hoses you saw connected to our air conditioning system. The way we're rejecting heat is through water using these cooling towers so water is being pumped throughout the entire building and we got some giant fans up there this is a whole different lesson but yeah this is pretty cool so these are the cooling towers we're just looking at through the computer and yeah that's pretty cool hvac life looks like we got a little inside look here and there's a big fan on top Cool stuff. Who wants to go swimming? These are the condenser water pumps. So we're pushing water through these condenser water pumps to all our air conditioning systems and to that cooling tower. And we're going above about 38 floors circling water. And I do have a video doing maintenance on these pumps as well. Go ahead and check them out. But a lot of cool stuff out here. there is a beautiful thing i think it looks brand new so here's our two water hoses right supply and return so we're using those pumps and that cooling tower to reject the heat from this air conditioning system and these are the two water pipes and what this is doing is it's rejecting heat from the condenser coil all right once we got this all clean even clean the switch that's a good job right there we pour water down the drain, make sure it's good. And once we know that the system is draining, we're ready to put this thing back in. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Let's get the hoses up. All right, that's good. All right. Now we're gonna connect our water hoses back. Got our water hoses back on. Let's go ahead, open up the water slowly. There we go. Make sure there's no leaks. It's hard to get in here. There we go. Put our connectors back. Okay. Get this thing going. It's already it's nighttime already here. This is an over overtime service call, by the way. Let's get this back on. Beautiful. Push this thing back in. Test it up. All right. Let's close this up. Cool. Turn the power on. And let's test this. Okay, let's put the system on cooling. 
Let's drop the temperature. Let's watch our system. Walk down the lights. Make sure we're getting the red codes. Alright. Got about a five minute delay built into this board. Let's see what happens. Alright, we got all six LEDs on. Top middle one was our compressor. 72, 71, change and dropping. Let's see what our temperature difference is. It's 80 degrees in here, but our compressor started. Let's make sure it stays on. Let's see what our TV is and make sure we don't get any other error codes, but our COS error code is now good. We don't have any problems, at least with that. <laughs> there could be other things going on. But in fact, the system shut down on COS error. It's a good indication that the system was already running. It just happens to have a clock drain and the system operated as it should to protect the floors and it did its job. It's 879 degrees now, it was just actually 80. And we have 62.2 and dropping. That's already, well at this point, when it was at 80 a second ago, that's a 18 degree TD. And as the room temperature drops, so will your supply at air temperature. And it's looking good to me. Got the Statue of Liberty right there. God bless America. And right here, that is quite the view. We're in Brooklyn over here. We got the city on the other side. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.